What's up, dudes? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, what we're going to be reacting to is SMO movie, Brooklyn Guy, The Waiter, by SMO. Now, hopefully, this will be quite funny. The original link is down in the description. Hopefully, it doesn't quit on the first day. And, yeah, with that being said... Let's begin! Karen, Karen, there's a job listing to be a waiter at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant! Another job, Boiny? Why don't you just stay home and relax with me? But Karen, yeah. the pay on this job's gonna be crazy! How much? Four dollars an hour! Boiny, <laughs> that's nothing! Uh, yeah, but the meals are crazy expensive, so the tips are gonna be like a thousand dollars each! If I do one table an hour, I get like a thousand dollars an hour! Wow, that's a lot of money, Boiny, but are you sure that's gonna actually happen? Oh, trust me, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna come home with at least $8,000 today. Wow, well, yeah, okay, sure. Boiny. Okay, I'm gonna go apply for the job. Good luck! You're, you're not gonna make 8,000 bucks from, from, um, no, I, rookie, sometimes you're, It's Gordon Ramsay. Oh my word. <sighs> Gordon's not gonna be very... Well, that one's not gonna be very good with with Brookie. He's, he's not gonna be very good working with Brookie. I... I don't even know why he applied. Chef Peepee, when I tried these mandarin oranges that you prepared for me, my tongue went on a vacation. But the flight got cancelled, and they lost my luggage. And on the way home, I got into a car accident and became a paraplegic. And the nurse taking care of me shit my oatmeal. Now piss off and never cook again! Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ramsey. What do you want? You're in my kitchen, you bum! I'm not, I'm not a bum, sir. I, I'm here about a bum? job. I heard you were hiring waiters. Oh, right, here. There's your dress. Now my table just walked in, so piss off! Oh, okay, yes, got it. Pissing off, sir. Hey there, welcome to Hell's Kitchen. My name is Brooklyn, and I'll be your waiter. Ooh, father, father, he just said us so where? Timmy, shut the fuck up. You want me to take you outside and put you across my knee? But he just said hell! You want to go to the car? No, sir. Timmy, look at me. Look at me. Zip it. Yes, sir. All Zip right. Bed. Sorry about him. He's a little weasel. No, that's okay. I was just going to ask if you guys wanted something to drink. I'll have your largest bottle of wine. Oh, well, in that case, I'd recommend the Cabernet Sauvignon. Great. I'll have two. Okay, two of those. And I'll have the sun kissed on the rocks. <laughs> okay, I can do that. And I'll have a glass of milk. Uh, we don't have any milk, but we do have coffee creamer. He'll take a glass of that. Okay, sure. I was Who drinks coffee creamer just... Just plain with what? Who does that? Of course, the hacker does would. Why Capri Sun? Uh, we don't have that either. Aw, man! Just get her a sun kissed on the rocks, too. Okay, two sun kisses. Uh, can I get you guys started with an appetizer? Yeah, we'll take a bloomin' onion and also a baked potato <laughs> a with all the fixings. Okay. And I want cheese fries. Okay. Cheese sticks. Uh, we don't have cheese sticks. You don't have anything that I like. Just get her an order of the macaroni and cheese poppers. Okay. I'll have a Pop side piece of salad with light dressing. And extra croutons, because you know my fingers are going to find their way over to your plate and take a couple. And extra croutons. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Too. Aren't you gonna write this down? Oh no, I don't need to. Get it all up here. Amazing! You can remember all, all that? Here. Yep. Say it back. Oh, well, you guys wanted uh, two sun kissed on the rocks, two bottles of Cabernet, a glass of coffee creamer, a uh, bloomin' onion, a loaded baked potato, cheese fries, mac and cheese poppers, a Caesar salad with extra croutons. Simply amazing! Absolutely brilliant. We got ourselves a little Einstein over here. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna go put all that in and I'll be back to take your order. Uh, actually, we're ready to order now. But you are? You, you sure you don't want me to just run that in real quick? Unless you don't think you can remember it. Oh no, I, I can remember it. <laughs> Hit me. Ow. I doubt it. I I doubt that he's gonna remember it. I I doubt that Brooke I doubt that Brooke is gonna remember that <sighs> Oh boy. Ow! You did say it. I I did. I just meant tell me what you want. Alright! 
I'll take the reins and go first. I'll have the 18 ounce bone in ribeye, cooked bone well done, ribeye. butterflied with a little bit of blue cheese crumbles on top with some salt and pepper. Oh my god, I'm never gonna remember a goddamn thing this man is saying. This is the longest order I've ever heard. Why didn't I just write it down? Why did I have to say I had a good yeah, memory? Die. Oh my god, he's still talking. Can't you just order like a normal person? Okay, I have to at least pretend I'm listening. Chives, got it? Yeah, yeah, I got all that. Ooh, ooh, I want an eight ounce sirloin cooked medium rare with ketchup. Ah, uh, 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 Timmy, you know your- Who eats a- Who eats a sirloin steak with- I think he was gonna say ketchup? Mustard mayonnaise? What? No! Your mother always orders after the man of the house. Mr. The one that does all the yard work. Yes, sir. All right, honey, take it away. Uh, what's on your maple barbecue chicken? Well, ma'am, I would assume maple and barbecue. Oh, no, I do not want that. I'll have the grilled salmon with four coconut shrimp. I want the lemon on the side and clean the rind. Okay, I can do that, too. Uh, would you like to order now? Father, may I please order now? You may. Okay, so I want the 8-ounce sirloin cooked medium rare with ketchup, mayonnaise, and mustard on the side. I'll okay, go. <laughs> Just, if you're gonna order, if you're gonna order a steak with ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, just go. Just, you're kicked out of the restaurant. I'm sorry. I also want individual sides of lettuce, tomato, pickles, onion, ooh, and two pieces of bread. Wait, instead of bread, can I get buns? Would you just like a burger? No, I want it how I ordered it. Okay. I don't see PB&J on here. All right, I'll take the reins on that one too in order for She'll have the shrimp and chicken fettuccine, whatever the fuck, and make sure you cut <laughs> up the noodles to about a centimeter size or so so she doesn't choke on it. Okay, yeah, I got that too. You got all that? Oh, yeah, I got all of it, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'd ask you to read it back yeah, to me, but I'm sure. sure you got it with that big old brain of yours. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh boy, do I have it. I'm gonna go put all of that in. Now that's a man that can listen. Honey, don't fucking start. Oh man, I don't remember <laughs> a goddamn <laughs> thing don't. those people just Sorry. ordered. I mean, I remember the drinks and the appetizers, but I don't know what their actual meal is. Damn it, guy, why did you have to brag about being good at remembering stuff? Wait, what do they want? Uh, they're coming. Yes, Mr. Ramsey? You're gonna give me that order or you're gonna stand around with your dick in your hand? Oh, no, 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 sir, no dick. <laughs> Well, then give me the order! Okay, so they wanted a, 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 bit, a loaded baked potato. Uh, 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 you didn't fucking write it down! No, I don't need to write it down. I can remember it. Well, clearly you can't, because you're over there uh, uh, blabbering on like an idiot. Give me the order! Okay, uh, they wanted a loaded baked potato and a blooming onion and cheese fries and mac and cheese bites and a Caesar salad with extra croutons. Now, was that so fucking hard? A little bit. All right, well, then piss off and go get them their drinks and then give me the order! Okay, yes, I will go get them their order. All right, now peace off! Okay, you lovely people, I have your drinks, your two sun kists on the rocks, your coffee creamer, sir. Ma'am, there are your two bottles of Cabernet. Oh, thank you. Now, sir, you ordered the, uh, well, you know, you know what you ordered. We both know. You don't have to say it unless you want to. That would be fine. Uh, but the chef uh, doesn't believe that you ordered the thing that you wanted the way you wanted it. So maybe if you said it out loud, you might realize you don't actually want that. No, that's exactly what I want. Hmm, well, maybe if you said it out loud, you would hear, like, an ingredient in there that's kind of weird and you might change your mind. You didn't forget, did you? Oh, no, no, me forget? No, I never forget anything. No, no, not me. Now, honey, you know he has an amazing memory. Oh, uh, yeah, we got Megamind as our waiter. Yeah, yeah, that's me, Megamind. But see, the chef, uh, he, he didn't believe me when I told him what you wanted. You know, he, he didn't think somebody would order that the way you ordered it. So so maybe maybe if you, uh, you just said that on video, exactly what you told me, and I could show the chef and he'd believe you. No way, Kim Osabi. I don't like being recorded. I don't want Mark Zucker Facebook spying on me. Yeah, of course not. Uh, so so maybe uh, just your voice, you know, you could just talk and tell the chef what you want and just say, hey, chef, this is what I want, and then tell him exactly what you told me. All right. Hey, chef, this is what I want. I want the 18-ounce bone-in ribeye well-done butterfly so we make sure it's well done with blue cheese crumbles and salt and pepper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that he didn't press record. Oh, my word, bro. <sighs> Brookie. You're so stupid sometimes. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, I got one of their oh, orders, but he's a big fan, so he wanted to record it in a video for some reason. No phones in my kitchen! Well, if you just listen to it, you can hear what he wants. No, you go get their full order, and you come back here and read it to 
me. Make what? sure you write it down. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I will do that, sir. Where the fuck are you going? I was going to go get their orders. <laughs> There's the appetizers ready. You take them out there to them. Uh, well, well, sir, it's going to take me like four trips. No, you're a waiter. It's your job to carry all the food out there. And if you can't do it with the two hands that you have, I suggest you grow two more hands. Uh, okay, I guess I'll try to... Get the fucking food out of my kitchen uh -huh. now! I'm going. I'm going. Whoa, whoa, careful. 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 careful, careful. Okay, screw it. They're not getting appetizers. Okay, sir, the chef believes you now, and he started cooking your food. Perfect. And you, ma'am, what you ordered was just incredible. Really inspiring. No one has ever ordered something like that before. Really? Yes, really. And the chef liked it so much, he wants to make it a permanent menu item. So just take this pen and then write on the menu exactly what you ordered the way you told me. But it's already on the menu. Not the way you ordered it, it's not. So just write that down because it's special. So what was your name again, ma'am? Suzanne. Suzanne. We're going to call it the Suzanne special. Just for you. Honey, you hear that? I'm gonna be famous! That's what we call special treatment. Now you kid, <laughs> you ordered a hamburger. <laughs> no, I didn't. Nah, you kinda did. But I didn't order that. Well, the, the chef said he refused to make what you ordered because I totally remember what that was. And he said he's going to make you a hamburger, so you're getting a hamburger. But I wanted to... You're getting a hamburger. Okay. Now, you girl, you wanted a... Uh, you girl. Yes, and you know what, princess? I will make that special just for you. With crunchy peanut butter? You got it. Well, hold on. What about what she actually ordered? Because she can't have all that sugar. Well, you know what? I will make her a special sugar-free peanut butter and jelly. Oh, wow. That's what you call going above and beyond, just like Buzz Lightyear. Yep, that's right. Oh, man, you done with that menu? Yes, here you go. Thank you. We're going to frame this. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. What about the appetizers? Uh, I have bad news about the appetizers. See, uh, this is coming from the chef, because I would never do this to you people. Uh, see, he said that the appetizers were for the lunch menu, and, and this, this is the dinner menu, so you're not getting appetizers. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, I get everybody's order written down. Took you long enough! Yeah, I do need to go to Walmart real quick to get the stuff to make a PB&J. PB&J? This is a Michelin star fucking restaurant! We don't serve PB&J here! Yeah, but you see, that, that girl Girl, she has an allergy that an allergic to everything but PB and J allergies, so I need to do that for her. Well, there's fucking gluten, sugar, and peanuts in a PB and J. What the fuck is she not allergic to? Hey, I'm just telling you what she said, so I'll be right back. Well, hurry up! Okay, sir, I got the PB and J in my back pocket. I'm keeping it warm. <laughs> All right, the food's ready. And let whoever ordered the salmon know that I didn't have any lemons, so I'd use a spare squash that I found. Okay, sure. I mean, you're the chef. I'll just take all this out. Tonight. Mm-mm-mm. I got everybody's food. Sir, I got your steak and baked potatoes. I got your hamburger. Aww. I got your PB&J. You didn't cut the crust off? Yeah, well, you didn't tell me to. Aww. Yeah, so eat it. And I got your <laughs> Yeah. The lemons have a lot of seeds in them. Yeah, well, that's because the chef actually ran out of lemons, and he had to substitute lemons for squash. Well, did he clean the rind first? Uh, yes, he did. Oh, good. Sir, what are you doing? You call this well done? It's still mooing at me. It's saying, cook me moo. Yeah, I, I'm cook me more, more. <laughs> See, I can do a better cow impression. Cook me more, and it, here's a better, and here's a better cow impression. Love you, Cody Kins. <laughs> <coughs> I'm really sorry about that, sir, and I would take it back, but you see, Gordon Ramsay refuses to cook anything well done. And where are my blue cheese crumbles? He refused to do that, too. He said they were moldy, and he threw them away. Ah, good call. Okay, so everybody enjoy your food, and let me know if you need anything. Okay, Mr. Ramsay, I gave him their food. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go check on them. Hey, everybody, how's the food? I see you ate it all. It was disgusting. Disgusting? Yeah, it's it too disgusting. chewy. I'd like you to take it off the bill, please. Oh, sir, I can't do that. You ate it all, even the bone. Yeah, but it was gross. I had to eat it all the way through to make sure it was still disgusting, and it was. In my what? <laughs> you have to eat all the way through something just to tell if it's dis- Okay, C kick the hugger dudes out, please.
My lemons didn't add much flavor. Well, that's because it was squash. I like my burger. Oh, well, that's good. Can we order dessert? You sure can. All right, honey, I'll take it from here. We'd like no. to do the creme brulee no. with extra berries, no. the cheesecake with a mixed no. berry compote, a no. chocolate mousse and a bread no. pudding with a scoop of ice cream, no. a chocolate cookie, I'm, and it's also my I'm birthday, so I'll take whatever this. free dessert comes with that. Not Actually, you know what? I just remembered that the kitchen's again. closed, so no. I can't give you any of that. No. Oh, darn. No. That's a darn shame. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so here's the bill. Uh, who do I give this to? You can give it to the kids. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very good, sir. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this here, and I'll be back. All right, I'll take care of this old dog. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, they ate all of it. <coughs> yeah? <laughs> what do the burps mean, Mr. Ramsey? Okay, I I'm gonna go get their bill. Oh, thank God they're finally gone. Oh, but that big tip's gonna be worth it, though. What, what the hell is this? Don't step in front of a moving train? What does that mean? Oh, there it is. Sorry about that. My wife left her necklace on the table. Hey, hey, just real quick. Uh, for the tip, you said don't step in front of a moving train. What's that about? Yeah, pretty good tip, huh? Well, I mean, tips are usually supposed to be money. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't leave cash. We just leave tips as in, like, uh, life advice, you know? Well, I can't really pay my bills with that. Well, you make an hourly wage like everyone else, right? I make $4 an hour. Well, if you don't like how much you get paid, then maybe you should work somewhere else. Well, yeah, that's exactly that's what I'm gonna do. Fuck this! <sighs> boy, you're home early from work! Yeah, fuck that job. But boy, what happened to $8,000? Oh, I'll tell you what happened to it. Here's my one hour of pay I got, that's $4, and here is my tip. Don't step in front of a moving train. Oh, boy, that's a good tip! Yeah, try mailing that to the electric company and see if it keeps the lights on. But boy, that was just <laughs> one table and you quit? Yeah, that was the worst experience of my life. What happened? Well, Gordon Ramsay yelled at me, and then he burped at me, and I think it was supposed to communicate something. Well, Boiny, at least you have a lot of other jobs. Yeah, you're right. I don't need it. Cut a bottle! Uh... Yeah, if I... Well, if I was in Brokey's situation, and... And... Yeah, I would have... I would have just... Kick the hugger dudes out. Like, instead of Cody, go home. The hugger dudes, go home. <laughs> what is your favorite restaurant? I like multiple different types of restaurants, but I don't really have a favorite. But I would say a restaurant that I eat the most at would be a would be a restaurant that that closed down in I think it was either last year or the year before forty one south oh I love this I love that place anyways guys <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching, and yeah, be sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, this was a pretty good SMO movie. I mean, I can't blame the, I can't blame Brookie for, for saying fuck that at the, at the end of the day. I can't blame him for, for quitting on the first day on the job. Although he was doing pretty well. He was trying, trying. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time.